topics and today we will learn about ericsson 5g configuration okay so in this video we will learn how i mean what type we are going to use hardware for 5g configuration and radio and how we can give connection okay and always i am saying that uh, this video also will help to fight interview because i am going to tell basic everything okay and interview asking basic okay so this will be helpful for you so here for 5g configuration we are going to use num one number 6630 and as you know that 6630 support up to 5g technology technology it support also 2g 3g 4g and 5g and here also we are going to use three number air3239 and air3239 is a massive MIMO integrated radio antenna so why we are going to use three number because i am going to tell about three sector uh three sector side okay for 5g configuration so how we can give connection for three sector so we will know in this video so this is our basement 6630 okay it support 2g 3g 4g and 5g but in this video we will know about only 5g configuration and for example also i am taking here frequency board uh, sorry frequency band and f uh, 3600 okay for 5g purpose and now we have uh, you can see in this video uh, this is air3239 integrated radio antenna air3239 we need to use three number because we have we have three sector site 3239 this is for sec uh, first sector this is for second sector and this is for third sector now we have we have also power plant or, or you can call rectifier why we are using power plant and rectifier because we need to give power from rectifier to 6301 and AIR 3239. Okay, so we need to use also a standard MCV as per Ericsson standard. So we need to use 10 ampere MCV for basement. Okay, so here also interviewer interviewer will ask how I mean what type MCV are going to use. Uh, we need to use for 6630. Then you need to tell in EG we we have to use 10 ampere MCV for 6630. Okay. And this is our power cable to give power from rectifier to a double six three zero. And here, for example, I'm giving here. For example, you can identify cable from here also. Sixteen ampere. We have to use for AIR three two three nine. If interviewer uh, interviewer will ask to you how, how what type of MCB we are um, we have to use for three two three nine, then you have to tell sixteen ampere. We have to use for three two three nine. As per Ericsson standard, always we have to use 16 ampere. Okay, so we have three radio, so we need three 16 ampere MCB. Okay, and three number power cable. So how many we need power cable? We need one for double double six three zero and three number four three two three nine. Total we need four power cable. Okay. Now we have power. We need to sync radio from baseband. So we need to uh, we need to sync uh, radio from basement. So we have to use fiber, or you can call optical or CPRI cable. So we need to use fiber two in each sector because AIR three two three nine has two port, data one and data two. So that is why we are going to use two fiber in each sector. Okay. So we have three sector. Then we have to use six number fiber. Okay. And also, uh, friends, uh, I was telling about this one. Okay, here you need you need to give connection on correct port. Okay, for first sector you need to connect on port A and B. For second sector you need to connect on port C uh, you need, and D. You need to connect and on E and F. So make sure th uh, make sure that don't confuse. You need to you need to choose correct port. Okay. And otherwise, your radio will not detect in your basement. Okay. And friends, also, uh, I am telling about AI3239. We are going to use only AI3239 because this is a radio integrated antenna. We are not going to use any other antenna like Comba and Andrew, any other antenna. So, here also, we are not going to connect any RF jumper and any RET cable. Okay, so we need to give connection only fiber and power cable. Okay. 
uh, I'm given notes here also. You can read the notes also. No need to use GSM antenna and RF jumper here. So we are not going to use any GSM antenna and RF jumper and RET cable also. Media also we need to give connection from transmission. You can see the port you are, you ha here. You have to give connection from transmission. And if you want to log in uh, basement from laptop, then you can log in from LMT port. LMT port, uh, uh, sorry, LMP port has uh, uh, LMT port has two port, LMT A and LMT B. So LMT A and LMP B, you can also call, uh, say that because LMP means local management, uh, local management port. Uh, LM, LMT means local management terminal. So you can log in from LMT A. Here also you can see some sync port is given here. So if you want to connect GPS, then you can connect from this port. And also you need, if you need external alarm for this side, if you want to give external alarm, then you can connect RG45 cable here and give connection to rectifier. Okay. So friends, I was telling about Ericsson 5G configuration. Okay. So basically for Ericsson 5G configuration, we need to use three number 3239 and one number double six three zero and six number fiber and four number uh, a power cable and also we need sfp okay so total we need sfp six number here and six number here total how many we need total we need 12 sfp four sfp in each sector okay we need to connect two number here and two number here so total four number in each sector so we have three sector then we need 12 number sfp okay so friends, um, this is uh, for 5G, uh, Ericsson 5G uh, configuration. Uh, if yes, interview will ask to about your um, basement or AI3239 or related MCB, then you can answer easily. Okay, there is no problem. So guys, always I'm saying that if you like my video, then you can subscribe my channel. If you want to ask anything, my, uh, then you can ask in my comment box. So thank you guys. Bye-bye.